Three years uh, work experience. Okay. How will you explain dynamic programming and data structures to a six-year-old kid? So, as you can see in my resume, I had been the topper of very reputed institute and worked with fan companies. Are you saying that I have to explain my professional things to a kid? Yeah. So, explaining a dynamic programming or data structure to a six-year-old kid. What? What, what is this? Are you trying to trick me? Don't play this game with me, okay? Guys, 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 it's not about challenging your intelligence. We respect your experience. We also have a lot of regard for the campus from where you come. Okay. Now, sometimes we need to ask questions and frame them in an unusual way to test your, you know, adaptability skills. Okay. Coming out a li little bit of creativity from your side. So it's not just on your coding or your tech skills. And you need to understand that sometimes we have stakeholders who are not tech savvy. They need to be explained in a very simple way. And taking up this question, you know, how would you explain dynamic programming to a six or seven year old kid? It's a beautiful opportunity. We are going to come with the possible answers. Keep watching. But here is a chance for you to show and bring out your ability to make a complex thing in a very simple way, you know. So it's a little bit of communication, a little bit of imagination, you know, a little bit of creativity. And that can go on to building lasting relationships. Okay. Strong bonds. It is to see how you can adapt. If you have the capacity to explain to a six-year-old kid, imagine what you can do in a real-time environment. Keep watching.